It's my handsome handyman. Maria's all tied up at the moment, but I'll tell her you called. What's that? It's time you met our man inside the LPD. Here's a payment for the last little job he did for us. He's understandably cautious. Get to the payphone in Torrington as quick as you can and await his instructions. Running around the court, bouncing the ball, and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, I only play men's sports, like football and hopscotch. Hopscotch? That's a girl's game. Man, that ain't a girl's game, man. Not rugby hotscotch. Man, get me in a scrum and I'll take I'll take anybody down. I'm the hot scotch master. I got the fly skills. Hopscotch. You know what I'm saying? Hey, yeah, I mean I, I kinda see your point, but you know, you'd be a little cranky too if your empire had fallen apart over the last hundred years. And speaking of commerce, it's Get to the phone in West Belleville Park. of Fernando's new beginnings. A revolutionary new way of saving your marriage. We understand how two kids in a mortgage can take the passion out of your life. With our three-step program, you'll rediscover romance guaranteed. Hi, my name's Phil. I've got three kids, two cars, and a mortgage. My love life is going stale, even before my wife's car accident. Then I called New Beginnings. Thanks to Fernando, I'm still married. But on Wednesday afternoons, I meet Barbara at the motel by the turnpike. See? The passion she is back. Phil's marriage is saved, and his kids will have a daddy to look up to. Call New Beginnings today. Cinco, 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 nueve dos, nueve dos. It will be a miracle. I guarantee it. Fernando's New Beginnings. We turn an ending into a new beginning. Mom, there's a package for you. But I didn't order anything. What's this? How sweet. to the phone on Liberty Campus. And who says that e-commerce isn't a brilliant idea? All right, speaking of brilliant, you're listening to Chatterbox with me, Laszlo. Let's go over here to the phones and see what's plaguing Liberty City. Oh, caller, you're on the air. Wow, I got through. Uh, Laszlo, I think your last few callers are a perfect example of manners in this city. People are rude, and they don't seem to care about anything but themselves. Perfect example. The other day, I stopped at the store to pick up a... Get to the phone in South Belleville Park. $2 last night buying gas at these ridiculous gas prices. And besides, who are you anyway? Can't you see that I'm wearing my I Walk shirt t-shirt? People are so considerate. Well, you'll get no argument from me. I mean, I get every inconsiderate moron in Liberty City calling into this show. I mean, people think that I have no feelings whatsoever. Exactly. Another perfect example. The other day, I'm over at the hospital to have lunch with my girlfriend, Cherie, and this maniac comes right up on my bumper flashing his lights, and I'm like, hey, guy, the light is red. You can't just come up behind me. Creepy in the toilet block in the park. So obnoxious these days. And rude. I mean, I tell my nanny to teach my kids some manners. You know, I think that's a lesson to us all. All right, hello, next caller. You're on Chatterbox. Hello, Laszlo. Did that woman say she was a nanny? Because Freddy needs a nanny because he's been a very naughty boy. No, no nanny. Must be Azuka's new errand boy. You got the money. Is it all here? 
<laughs> I know what you're thinking. Another bent cop. Well, it's a bent world. Just because I lost a few partners, those suckers from internal affairs have started sniffing around. Reckon they can smell me. Well, this city is one big open sewer. But I'm going to need some non-union help. And if you're interested, you know where to find me. Go on vacation.